Welcome back to MBE. It's Saturday, Easter weekend. You can see we got machines running, 18 degree max bulls. We're already answered to the SR20. These are a much bigger upgrade to our own SR20. If you've seen the videos, it's valve train related, it's port design, casting, pretty much everything. So we had a pallet of these, so we're making a run of these. So we're cruising on that. We got the big nine manifolds. Finishing up big nine manifolds. We'll see a run of them. So a bunch of those are smoking, smoking for, but um, we'll also have some in inventory, so we won't be the land of broken promises. So then, uh, like I said, we got 18s rolling right now. So this is, this is after op one, and these will get seats and guides uh, put in, and then they'll go in for final boarding. So, actually, let's go look at a row. Well, one of the reasons we get an advantage over things is that we have the capabilities to put spark plugs in, to put guide bores in, to put it where we want it so we can move things around. As you can see, nothing's been machined on it, you know, except for the basic cubing. And then we go ahead and do all of this, the valve train, all the valve train with the extra bosses, uh, spring pockets, guide bores, spark plugs, etc. Uh, so kind of give you an idea, it's just that everything we do, we go to extreme as we possibly can. These are just in line for valve job. So, Oh, they have been valve jobs, so all these just need to be blended. We just got to blend the valve jobs on them, and that's about it. And these can roll, so these will leave early next week. All those 18s, we're going to put a few sets in inventory. We got five sets that'll, that'll be finished. I would say they'll be finished probably in about two weeks. Coming here, this is a gentleman who wasn't ready to go to the small block board, um, the CID 12 degree head that we do. So he wanted to go this route with the Brodex head, and we said we so we updated the ports for him. We're doing a manifold for it. Um, so this would be a nice piece. Um, that is Kenya, Kenya, Kenya is his name. And then uh, we got a set here, so this is set up for spacers. So this deal isn't finished yet, but the valley tray is finished. So now it looks like a race piece. And then uh, with, the, with the spacers that we made, we'll go in and scallop this too so it, so it looks correct. And, uh, so this is, because obviously he raised the deck height from what he first had. And then we have to go in and do some updating in the manifold on the manifold porting. And then here's one of the big nine manifolds finished here. So this, this set is basically finished. So the valley tray is, is finished. Um, well, we might have to put the distributor in it. That's about it. Um, but the manifold is finished. You can see these have hat washers, so you don't have to run a, a washer underneath your nut. And they're hardened, they never gall, they never wear. So we do all that, and we got basically we offer that on most every head. So some guys think it's great, but uh, certainly for the power adder guys, when you don't have to search for a washer or wonder where it went, this is a much better idea. Um, maybe for the NA guys, not really needed. Um, and we got some stuff finishing up here. There's a manifold ported here. So this one's just about finished. So this that whole job is just about finished. That should be finished next week. Uh, we have a blower manifold here. So we've been doing a lot of these for the 18 degree conventional that we do because a lot of the boat classes have to run a conventional cylinder head. Um, a lot of them have to run stainless steel valves, which is not saving anyone any money. I had no clue. I didn't ask anybody that knew. Uh, but the last thing you want to do is run stainless valves in a, in a boat just because of valve train re reasons. It is an endurance application. But anyways, so this is a manifold that Roy Mirsch makes. Um, Mr. Mirsch passed away um, about six weeks ago. Um, Mr. Mirsch is just another example that um, these, there's not enough people filling what needs to be done for our industry. So there's opportunity everywhere for someone that wants to think and do things. 
Um, Mr. Mirsch was one of those people. Um, so this is his blower manifold. Um, I believe his son um, is probably going to take this over and everything. At least I hope so. Um, his son is a very accomplished um, uh, top dragster, or I'm sorry, alcohol dragster. I think he's got an A fuel car though. Um, uh, he's had it for years and always competitive. So he's a racer himself and some of you might remember from the BMX days because that's when I remember him. Um, when I was a little kid and I used to watch BMX read BMX Plus and see him in there. But hopefully uh, hopefully Larry's gonna take this over and of course we, we, uh, we lost a good one for sure in Mr. Mirsch. He'll, we'll, he will be sorely missed, I promise you. Um, and then uh, come back here. And this is just stuff staged for, uh, for final completion. So you can see we got we got, we got, let's see what we got here. We got symmetricals, or those LSs? We got symmet symmetricals right here. We got manifold here. That's for, that's for, uh, so this stuff is just about finished too. This stuff will leave next week also, because we have all the parts for this. Um, here's a set that's just ready to be boxed. That's the, that's 11 degree symmetricals. So this stuff will be assembled probably on Monday. Um, big nines right here. We're just finishing up a valley tray for him. We have billet heads, small block stuff. Here's a set here. Um, you, know, you know, it's just funny. We live in weird times where a, we're waiting on stainless exhaust valves for this. Um, I'll usually get exhaust valves, titanium ones, in three to four weeks. Um, usually no more than that. Um, but, you know, we just live in strange times. So the stainless have been taking a while. Just a just a different deal, and uh, so this year just waiting on. Uh, we're actually just waiting on the customer and that stuff, so that's no big deal. So we're out of there. And you can see we've we've increased the inventory of springs, uh, so we will be prepared. And then uh, just some stuff finishing up here, and then we got Dave's room here. So Dave's holding guides on a set of the Dart LS heads that we do there. It's got couple sets of SV2s over there and I'm gonna guess this is for Burt's for Burt's right here for his Miata for his Miata or as Burt calls it a Porsche but Porsche and it's a set we updated for a, a customer of ours so we're just waiting on the spring package for this we should have that on Tuesday or Wednesday and these here we just service these for a gentleman who works on works on Chevrolet diesel stuff. So we just service the stuff for him. We've been doing it for probably 15 years, a long time. Ed from Ed's Auto, he does the best diesel work in the country. Maybe, probably. Uh, we'll come down here. As you can see, the guys clean the shop on Friday. Being that it was Easter weekend, thought it'd be nice. I think it would be nice for everybody that we came in to a nice clean shop because it was pretty grungy. That's the first stop is complete, and you burr around the guide, the guide bores, put, put the seats and guides in it, and then it'll be ready for final porting. Or hat washers or whatever else it may need. Of course, it'll need serial numbers, because everything gets serial numbered. And, uh, we have big nine halves over here, so these are, these are ready to be finished up, so we can line them up there on the top shelf. Dave's got a project here, I'm not sure. Uh, Dave's last name is MacGyver, I don't know if you've heard of him, but um, who knows what he's doing there, but I'm sure it's important. And so this is a, you can look at this, this is, this is a new LS head, so this is gonna be designed for the dirt guys. So super late models, things like that. We've been, we've been uh, having some inquiries about this, so we have a deposit on a, on a few sets. So. We've, we've, changed, uh, we've changed some things from what we would do on the power adder stuff that we sell the most of. Uh, for one thing, the intake port's gonna be a lot smaller, the exhaust port's gonna be smaller, and all this stuff has to be designed for the application. Uh, in a dirt, 
the, you know, the, the easiest place to pass somebody is on a restart. So the last thing you want to do is make it lazy there. Uh, so that's why we go to a smaller exhaust port, smaller intake port, uh, so the thing won't be lazy down low, so it'll accelerate harder. Uh, it's just working in the power range um, that it needs to work in to be competitive. And of course, we always want to make a good, a good number up high too, but it is sort of a slide scale. You don't get one without the other. Uh, can't get both. Uh, you can see here, so, so we've already got guide bores in them, spring pockets, so I got some place to work with here. And I'll be doing the development work on this one, so I look forward to getting in the grinding room. I know that might sound odd, but the grinding room is peace. Yeah, there's nothing but peace for a minute. So well, that's it. That's uh that's it this week. Happy Easter to everybody, and uh, enjoy your weekend.